Hey guys, Claw Wolf here, and I'm back today with another requested video by the Mad Villager Minecraft. And he wanted to know how he could make basically a chat system which would advance without the player having cheats. And he already kind of got the idea that you need to use a villager and whatnot. So I'm basically kind of explaining that in uh, this video, and I'll be going over the commands. It only takes uh, one team scoreboard, uh, one team. Uh, and it also takes two scoreboard objectives, and uh, for each chat uh, sequence you want to make, it's going to take another scoreboard objective, but it's actually not that bad. Uh, so let's get started. First off, we have the scoreboards. So first, you're going to need to make a scoreboard, and this one is called Chat 1. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, I just called it Chat 1 to represent one of the chats, and it, make it a dummy. The second scoreboard is talk I just call it talk you can call it like chat or whatever and it, but this one you have to make it stat dot talked to villager okay so this is going to check each time that a player right clicks on a villager it will add one to the score and lastly I just have a third one here which creates a second chat because I have two examples of how you can use this so first off we have the first example and it's just a regular villager I have a command block here which summons a villager and he has two tags. He has man1. It's just this is the tag that's going to differentiate him from every other uh, villager in the world. And the second tag is one that all the villagers that initiate chat need. And this one is called chat. So you can make it whatever. And then you have this command, this thing in the middle, which is very important. And I'll have this command in the description. And this is offers with open and closed brackets so that he does not have any offers. And the rest is just making him invulnerable. I put no AI because I don't want him to move right now. But you could do, you can configure all that stuff. But you just need the tags and the offers. So here we have the villager. He doesn't do much. Doesn't even have a name. I can name him if I want. Uh, and as you can see, I can't go through him. And that's going to be explained later. But first we have this set of command blocks. So this is for the basic chat. And this is when you want players talking to a villager. Or you could have the villager positioned anywhere you want. So, I activate this command block, and in the first command block, we are executing at tag equals man1, and man1 is this villager, and nobody else should be called man1 with a tag, nobody else should have a tag like that. Uh, and then scoreboard players add at p, so the nearest player, with the score of talk of 1, meaning that the closest player who has right clicked on this villager, so if I do scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, talk, and I'm going to turn this off for now. I right click on it. It shows that I have a talk of one right here. And then I right click a talk of two. So the nearest player with the talk. So this is assuming that there's multiple players standing around and somebody has right clicked on him. So the closest person. And this will be fairly accurate unless somebody, two people click on him at the same time. So I'm going to set my talk score back to zero. Okay. So then we have the second one and all the rest, these two command blocks in the middle are both uh, the configurable chat. So this is what you're going to have the chat sequence. Here's just a tell raw command that I have for example, but you're going to use this for the player selector. So tell raw at a with score underscore chat and this is using chat 2 as you see here. It's not chat 1 just because this is the example, but the name of your chat or chat2, so that's the one. Then this is executing at a player with chat2, min equals 1, chat2 equals 1, so this is just if they have chat2 is equal to 1. And this last one is testing if they have talk equal to 1, and you don't need this specifically, but I'm just going to leave it like this. But this is if they have talk equal to 1, so that means somebody has right-clicked this villager, and immediately after they right-click it, it's finding who right-clicked it, the nearest player who right-clicked it, and then it is telling them this chat. So I have to do this because uh, otherwise it'll just spam their chat if they have a chat score of two. If you don't mind it and you just want to make it like spam a chat message with a bunch of empty space above it and then uh, keep talking until the end of the chat, you can do that. And that actually is very easy and that will be shown in step three. Um, not step three, but variation three. Anyway, so I'm just going to continue with this one because this is the most convenient. Then we have this second one. This one is testing when chat 2 is equal to 2. So that's the same thing as before. And these two command blocks are the most important of the sequence. We have this one, which is removing anybody with talk min equals 1, talk 1. This has to be at the end of the sequence. Otherwise, it will remove the talk score 
and uh, it won't detect these two command blocks. So it, it gets these get executed in order. These command blocks activate in order, and it's going to basically set their score to zero once it gets to this one. So that's why these all have to be activated before it. And lastly, this one is setting anybody with chat of 2 equal to 0. This is a command block that's completely optional. It's if you want the chat to reset. So if I turn this off, we'll just go through this chat. So I right click on him. It says, hello, I am a villager. Right click on me to advance the chat. You don't have to put this message. The message could be anything you want. It can do anything you want. He's like, hello, I am a villager. Then I have another test one. Right click again. Villager the Villagers are the best, right? Okay, so now if I right-click on him again, the chat will cease to continue because it's adding one to my chat score. And I'm going to list my commands. As you can see, I have a chat score of three now and nothing will happen. So if you did want to have it spam the chat with an empty space, that will be all you need to do. But then, of course, the players it makes it hard to reset the chat if the players want to see it again. So I have this command block at the end. So now if I right-click on him, hello, I am a villager. Villagers are the best, right? Hello, I'm a villager. Villagers are the best, right? So it just cycles through the chats. And you can make it as long as you want or whatever. This is basically a video covering uh, just how to make it detect the player that talks to the villager. Anyway, so moving on to step two. This is kind of a, this is the same idea. There's no real difference, but this just makes it so I can't bump the villager. So first you're going to create this scoreboard team. And I named the scoreboard team everyone. So you just click the button, scoreboard teams add everyone. So, I mean, you can call it chats or whatever, I just put everyone. Then you're going to make this scoreboard, or type this in your chat, scoreboard teams option, everyone, collision rule, never. So that means that they will never collide into other entities that are on their team, pretty much. Uh, I think, I'm not actually sure, push other teams. So you can also put push other teams, but I've just put never because that's useful. Then you're going to do school board teams options, everyone, see friendly invisibles false. That way, if you have somebody on the everyone team, they're still invisible, so nobody cares. So this scoreboard teams doesn't really affect anything. Like, you won't have a player chasing someone on a server that's invisible, and then they can see them because they're both on the everyone score. And lastly, this is just a command block that gets played fast, and it's adding, it's join, making players join the everyone team. It's making everyone, every player, join the everyone team. And uh, that way, everybody in your world is on the same team of everyone. And this last one is making every entity with the tag of chat, which would be like so. How this villager has a tag of chat, which is what all your villagers should have. And it's making them join the everyone team. So essentially, you're having a team where anybody on it can't collide. So since the villager is joining my team, he can't collide with me and I can't see him when he is invisible. And that's what brings us to the last one, which is a sign click. Now this one is useful, and this is because uh, most signs, uh, when you right click on the sign, it requires permissions, and that's same with tell raw commands. If you click a tell raw command or click a book, it requires you to have permissions to use it. I've run into issues with that. Uh, working on some stuff uh, but anyway so this is also works so you have a I'm summoning base I'm summoning the same villager this one's called sign one but it is invisible and if you want to go to MC stacker you can make your villagers an MC stacker and it's very useful that's just how I made mine then you just click here and you can't see the villager but he's there so I'm gonna go ahead and disengage this because um, you can't have two running at the same time unless they're all hooked up to the same one. Uh, more on that later. So this is actually the exact same commands except just changing the word. And for each of them, you will have to make this where this command would have to be put into each one before you create your sequence. So execute at the name of who you're talking to or interacting with and then adding the players of another scoreboard which starts the sequence of chat or activates it, um, chat one. So it's just basically just swapping the talk score with the chat score. Then we have, uh, then this is just the interaction. This is the give player diamond. This one is a tell raw more interaction just like before. You just need the at a selector to be correct just like the last one. 
and this is setting it to zero or removing it or whatever you want and this is removing the talk so it's the same as before I just wanted to show this for an example and uh, if you right click oh let me summon him oh wow typical me okay so if you right click okay let me see I'm having some technical difficulties. Is this even on? Yeah, that's on. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. Don't put multiple villagers in the same spot because I don't know if you'll even be able to talk to them. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, so you right click and it says here is your gift. And I'm going to turn that off. So I right click, it says here's your gift, and it'll only work once. So this says start chat, give diamond, whatever. So you can have, again, you can not have this, so the player can only activate it once. Or you can have it, so they can get as many as they want, or activate it as many times as they want. Now, the only disadvantage to this is players are active, able to activate it from, like, here. You can try teleporting the villager closer, but since they del messed up the whole thing where villagers don't have the no, like, with no AI, villagers don't float. You'll have to get creative with, say, giving them levitation and putting a block above it, like a barrier above it, or putting a barrier under it and making them stand on it. But yeah, so you may have to work your way around that, but uh, it still works pretty well. You just right-click over there, and uh, you get your diamond, and it's pretty good. And the last thing I wanted to say about this video is, uh, in terms of how to do this thing, if you are going to use this method... I suggest you have one command block thing for all your chats in one big smash whatever big amount of command blocks. Uh, you just put one like this and then you just put all your things piled up and each time you want to make a new chat just go into this copy and paste this command like so change the chat number to what or scoreboard to whatever your new scoreboard for your new chat sequence is going to be uh, let's call it chat three. Uh, you got to add the chat, so scoreboard objectives add chat three, dummy. Then you can proceed to doing whatever you want, slash give at p diamond, chat three is equal to one, chat three is equal to one. Just change up, this is what you want the interaction to be, so if it's a tell raw, do the tell raw, do the whole chat sequence, like, oh, you talk to your friend or whatever. Then when you're done with it, take one of these, and you can also have one of these if you want to make the chat repeat. But anyways, take one of these, copy and paste it in, hit done. And uh, you need to put the talk at the end. So if you have two activating at once, there you go, you can sometimes have issues. So depending on how far the talk is in your scoreboard it can have issues so for now if you do I'm not coming uh, I don't have a problem right now but if you do happen to have issues with it removing your talk score faster than in this other set of commands it can give you your diamond or something like that like it won't activate chances are you're going to have to make a big command block thing with all of them put together so I suggest you just do it from the start so when you want to add a, another chat sequence you just copy and paste this command break it put it somewhere else like that and then uh, put your new sequence in whatever your new sequence is here's our scoreboard setting here's our chats here's our chat here's our chat and then add it at the end so just always make it at the end that way it removes one from the talk after it talks through the chat uh, I don't know if this is kind of confusing for you guys. Uh, I did, it, this isn't really aimed at super beginning command block creations and stuff. This is kind of for medium to advanced command block people. Uh, it takes a little prior knowledge. I can do some other easier tutorials in the future, but this was a request, so I felt like I would respond to it like the best way possible, and I didn't want to go dumb it down too much. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.